Iranian armed forces showcased their weaponry this week during the three-day Ektadar 1403 military exercises near central Iran's nuclear facilities, testing advanced air defense, missile, and radar systems. Based on released imagery, the ROD-2 medium-range air defense system played a key role in the exercises, supported by the complementary SEPR-14 passive electro-optical system. The ROD-2, operational since 2014, is an enhanced version of the ROD-1 system introduced two years earlier. It offers improved detection capabilities, extending its range from 50 to 80 kilometers and its altitude from 25 to 30 kilometers. This ROD-2 system employs Tier 2A radar-guided solid-fueled surface-to-air missiles SAM, which are advanced variants of the Tier 1 interceptors. Mounted three at a time on a transporter erector launcher telephone, these missiles boast a 50-kilometer range. Each missile is equipped with an 80-kilogram high-explosive fragmentation warhead designed to neutralize various aerial threats, including aircraft, drones, and missiles, with impressive accuracy and reliability. Two closely related air defense systems, Tabas and 3 Cordon, also participated in the recent three-day exercises held this week. Both systems were first introduced in 2014, with Tabas specializing in low and medium flying targets, while 3 Cordon targets medium and high flying threats. Unlike ROD-2, these systems are mounted on a transporter erector launcher and radar, TELAR, a vehicle equipped with a radar system. The military truck for all three systems is typically the Iranian adaptation of the Russian Belarusian MZKT 6922 6x6 chassis, powered by a V8 diesel engine and capable of carrying up to 12 tons. This truck usually accommodates three interceptors. The Tabas system is distinguished by its front radar enclosure, which conceals a flat panel antenna. In contrast, the three cordod system features an advanced X-band active phased array radar, ensuring a high level of precision and situational awareness. The first has a detection range of 60 km and the second of 200 km, and both individual TELARs can simultaneously detect and track 100 targets, as well as engage at least four at a time. Also, both systems can be integrated with the Bashir 3D phased array radar capable of detecting a wide range of targets, including flying, cruise, and stealth targets, within a 350 km radius and at altitudes up to 30 km. The Tabas system uses Tier 2A, 2S interceptors with a maximum range of 75 km and an altitude of 27 km, and the 3 Cordod system uses Tier 2B and Sayed 2 with a maximum range of 75 to 200 km and an altitude of 25 to 30 km. Instead of three missiles of such models, the three Cordad's Telar can also carry eight nine-day short-range missiles that can engage targets at ranges up to 70 km and altitudes of 25 km. The military exercises also displayed the truck-mounted Desfil air defense system, similar to the Russian Tor M1 system, which has been in active military service since 2021. Desfil is intended for low-flying targets such as cruise missiles and drones, and can detect 48, track 10 and engage two enemy targets. Its detection range is 27 km, and interceptors with electro-optical and thermal guidance have a maximum range of 12 km and an altitude of 6 km. The night footage showed the Model OL Fadger 3 radar, the latest generation of three very high-frequency, VHF, 3D early warning radars, first introduced in 2016. It contains 40 Yagi antennas arranged in four rows, covers a range of 500 kilometers, and has electronic counter-countermeasures, ECCM, to counter enemy jamming. The oldest generation covered altitudes of up to 20 kilometers and could simultaneously detect 100 targets, while the same capabilities of the latest generation are unknown, but certainly improved.
The advantages of Model OL Fadger radars are the mobility of all components mounted on a trailer, compatibility with the integrated air defense network, the ability to work in all weather conditions, and ease of use and maintenance. Furthermore, they use two separate channels that enhance radar performance stability and high reliability in monitoring targets, as one continues to work if the other goes down. Photos of the daily exercises showed a previously unseen truck-mounted phased array radar, unmentioned in statements by military officials. Therefore, it is not known whether this is a new radar system or more likely, the previously mentioned radar that has not yet been publicly presented. In the latter case, the most likely candidate is the Kamar radar that officials mentioned in late 2015, without showing images or detailed technical specifications.